Right, four different iron types in the JPX 921s. Question is, why is the four different types and which one would you choose? Well, that's not a bad starting. That's two incredibly good eight irons to kick things off, straight as a bullet. Sign me on, mate. Getting a set to them. What is going on? Absolutely class, mate. Seriously. But the performance so far, right through the set, eight iron, six iron, four iron, four iron carrying 200 yards, fairly easy. It's just the flight, does it? What's that, six? Six iron. It's just, it is a joke. <laughs> it is though, isn't it? I love half the mids. This is not my best angle, is it? Which angle do you want? This is your head, that. Right, so I kicked things off last week with the JPX range, and it was the 921 Forged. And that had a combination of chrome alloy and forged, the first time built into a head in those sort of mid to longer irons. I've got to say, blown away by the performance. They were absolutely superb. But now I've got the Hot Metal. It's the Hot Metal Pro that I'm going to test today. No difference between the Hot Metal and the Hot Metal Pro apart from the size and profile. So that depends what suits you in terms of at address, what breeds confidence, the bigger profile, or do you like that smaller compact head? Hot Metal Pro, this is not a graphite shaft that's in there as well. This comes as standard. I'll talk about the looks very, very shortly. But for now, I'm going to carry on hitting some balls. We've got eight iron, six iron, four iron, collect some data, and then we'll see. Why does this club exist? How does it differ from the forged? Four different clubs in this range, which one would you choose? So looks is a major thing. And for me, I, I really would struggle to choose between the four, four irons in terms of, for me, they all look very, very good. There's a slightly more sort of blingy look to this hot metal version. There's a bit more shiny uh, chrome element to it. And they are a little bit bulkier, but I will only say a little bit bulkier. So for me, I'm not gonna make a choice, a personal choice, but I think I would like to know from what you've seen so far, four different sets of irons, which would you play? I personally think the black shaft with a black head. Well, I think everyone's gonna think the same, it's graphite. Well, well, I've just had to make a mention that it's not graphite, and uh, I've, had it, I've had them in the boot for the last uh, week or so, assuming. They perform well. Yeah, they're great. I mean, honestly. I my just... favourite iron to fit with. The hot metal, though? Hot or metal just a general? Hot metal and hot metal pro. Yeah. Why aren't you in testing, mate? Grafting? Yeah, yeah I'm regripping. You're regripping? Yeah, I'm regripping. But more importantly, what did you just say? I, I think I might have the audio already captured, but just your favourite club for fitting, my or favorite, one of them? My favourite clubs for fitting are hot metal, hot metal pro, Mizuno. For, for what reason? To just. They don't you don't sacrifice anything I think is, that, look, is that no brainer face it's just like i don't want to compare them to any other but I, people why would people go for other chunkier game improvement clubs yeah. they don't sacrifice on feel they look yeah. good the performance of them is amazing sign me on mate <laughs> getting a set to them what is going on that's a four iron. Um, we, I've already gathered some data now on the four iron, and uh, Lewis has just, like I said, popped in. Average carry, sort of 200. And literally, I mean, I'm talking like ball after ball. Some might say that was a ball average. Don't you start. But again, <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the feedback is, I mean, 19 degrees, very strong, lofted in compare. So if you compare it again down to the sort of uh, last week's model, the 921 uh, Forge, two degrees stronger but ball flight hasn't changed at all and i'll throw up the numbers again at the end i'll do a comparison of both the um, the forged and also these and what i've noticed so far these are stronger lofted by almost two degrees across the board but in terms of ball flight in terms of launch angle virtually no differences whatsoever so yet again 
the, uh, the sort of loft obsessed. There's other things or other characteristics that make up that ball flight and uh, really needs to pay some attention to and don't get lost in uh, loft alone. There you've got it, that's it, review over. Lewis has said his piece. And to be honest with you, the interesting thing was, you've pretty much said what I was, what I was saying anyway. I'm a man of many ways. He's, well, you, it's very positive. I was just trying to get out of recording to be honest. <laughs> No, it's, it, it, it is literally what Lewis has just said. They kind of the thing that baffles me a little bit. What they've done, I think, better than the last version. I do think the feel is better than these, though. I know you said the feel. The feel in the forge is really good and soft. But what I think is interesting is they've done a real good job. These aren't as uh, tingy as the last. Um, oh, what was it? Nineteen was it? I think that's it. We're finished. No point in hitting any balls. You don't need to see any data. I think they're great. Lewis thinks they're an old brainer. See you later. <laughs> right, okay, it's time for a summary, and I think it's uh, it's a fairly simple one, isn't it? I mean, it's just this club is performing extremely well. Um, I think the big deal for me is what Mizuno have got on their hands with this range in particular is the fact that we looked at the forged efforts uh, a week or so ago. It was incredible in terms of performance. Um, we've now looked at hot metal. Its performance again is outstanding. There's probably, there is more forgiveness in the hot metal, I would suggest. And again, that bigger profile may, might help down that bottom end. So in terms of four and five iron, anybody would be a little bit scared of what they see in terms of the more blade-like thinner top line uh, in the forged or the tour version. The idea of making a combination set is superb because for me, you could almost go across three styles here and have the tour in the short irons, go into your mid irons into the forged head, and then maybe four or five iron into the hot metal and what they've done really well is the similarities in terms of their looks means that you can build that set quite comfortably and not look glaringly like you've got three sets of irons effectively in the bag but I mean Lewis said you know that they're, they're a fitter's dream because for me I struggle to see how anybody would not be impressed with the performance of this hot metal club it was fantastic at uh, one of the when I do a review you're looking at sort of First question is where does this product sit, who is it aimed at, has the product improved from the last generation, so 919 to 921s, um, I mean on that subject it's kind of, the, the steps are always minimal but they're very noticeable and I think for me in a forge set where the chromoly kicked in or chromoly kicked in in sort of, uh, was it 7 iron or 8 iron, whatever iron, it sort of starts coming to effect. I mean, what, whether, it, whether it worked or not in terms of that was the reason, the ball speeds off that club were incredible um, and fantastic feel. You then go into the hot metal and I think what they've done is the feel and sound is incredibly, uh, it, it has improved for me a, a whole lot, but the performance in terms of um, ball speed, launch angle, the spin number, I mean, it ticked every box. These are again quite a strong lofted iron and compared to that of the forge there's a couple of degrees difference but once again you know I said earlier on in the video don't be misled by that because seriously the, the, the way in which the ball got to its end result um, is not the same uh, in terms of CG placement and how it impacts on that overall um, sort of package that delivers a very good performing iron, like I said, across launch, across spin, across descent angle. So don't be always misled by these, uh, what, what you see as being loft, as being a, a detrimental thing, because it's not. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're just fantastic. They, they really did perform very well. I think the other thing is, I mean, Mizuno strap line is nothing feels like a Mizuno. And I think, yeah, they do feel incredibly good, but let's not forget, there's a bit more to it than that. They look incredible. Uh, they feel fantastic, yeah. The performance was insane off this club. I mean, it really is that good. And I think they've got a, a tremendous range on their hand. And ultimately it's down to, if you want a set of irons right now, and you want to spend that kind of money, then you need to go and get custom fit and you would be a fool not to include these into your shortlist. Um, so yeah, that's me done. I can't say no, I'll throw the, uh, I have said, I'll put the, I'll put the drive ball data up uh, for those of you who want it. They perform very, very similar, to be honest with you, almost identical to that of the Forge Club, excuse me, a couple of weeks ago. And like I said, 
they ticked every box in terms of performance. There's nothing to be critical of. Um, so yeah, m m very, very impressed. But these are out on the shelf right now, so there's every chance you've tried them. Um, so what I would like to see is in the comments down below, give me your feedback, and it can be you know, different to mine, you know, whether positive or negative. Uh, just give me the feedback that you've got in the comments, because what it does, it helps uh, other uh, golfers make an informed decision when they look to buy clubs. So uh, forgetting just my opinion, what is yours? Stick it down in the comments box below. Uh, potential people who are looking to buy irons right now, read those comments from your fellow golfers. And like I said, helps them make an informed decision from uh, from, from your feedback. So please do that if, uh, if you've managed to try them yourself. I literally do not think there's anything more I can say. It's incredibly positive. On that note, um, positivity is something that is sometimes frowned upon in a way, and what I mean by that is, uh, you know, what are, what, why, why are you being so positive? What's the negative aspect? And I, there is no, it's very difficult right now with a lot of clubs that are producing some great product right now, but you know, how would you critique that product with that performance and give any negativity? So it's hard to see a downside, so I'm not gonna give you one. Anyway, as ever, thanks for watching. I'm off and uh, I'll see you all very soon.